Okay, I'd like to call the meeting of um, Polk City Planning and Zoning to order. Can we call for roll? Hinkins. Here. Triplet. Here. Sires. Bowersox. Here. Vogel. Here. Dietz. Here. Okay, uh, the next uh, item on the agenda is the approval of the agenda. Would someone like to make a motion to approve that? I'll make a motion to approve the agenda for tonight's meeting for April 19th, 2021. Second. <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, it did carry. Hi, Doug. I think we have Aye. everyone on now. Okay, um, do we have any public comments? Is there anyone in the audience for public comments? Nobody asked to speak today. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, uh, we have in our packet, we have the PNZ Commission minutes from March 15th. Uh, would anyone like to make a motion to approve? I'll make a motion to approve the PNZ, meet, uh, PNZ meeting minutes for March 15th as written. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Vogel abstains. Okay. Any opposed? Okay. Uh, that has passed. Sports against men. That has passed also. Um, then we also need approval of the special PNZ commission meetings for a week later for March 22nd. Do we have it? Anyone want to make a motion for to approve that? Uh, so moved. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, that also carried. Okay, our first um, order of business is the uh, um, the Bryant Platt of Sur Bryant Platt of Survey. Kathleen, do you have anything you want to say about um, this? I think I saw Kevin Crawford's name in attendance, so I thought I'd let him speak to it first. If he if he is there. I am here. Can you hear me? <clears throat> I can. Okay. Uh, Kevin Crawford represents Stephen Bryant. <clears throat> Um, this plat of survey is just to adjust the property line to more accurately depict where the joining property owners believe the property line was and where they've got their basically their lines of possession. With that, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Yeah, I guess the only thing I would add is that um, the Property owners have been provided record of lot tie agreements that would tie each of the small parcels uh, to the larger parcel since they are not, you know, standalone lots. And also there will be a vacating an existing drainage easement that runs across the back of the properties but does not follow the natural drainage way. And so we're going to be replacing that with a drainage easement that is uh, of a size that uh, Kevin has worked on the design for. Uh, in a location that follows that, that drainage way. So, so there will be a public hearing at council prior to uh, vacating, completing that vacation. So, so the recommendation for approval would be subject to the property owners, you know, signing both of the, each one of those lot tie agreements um, and signing the drain, the proposed drainage or proposed surface water flowage easement. And um, then council, approving the vacation of the existing drainage easement. And Kathleen, I will confirm, I do have all of those documents signed and notarized for council. 
Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, from our perspective, they've addressed all of our all of staff's concerns. Kathleen, how is this draining up there? Is it going from, is there a ravine behind these houses? Yes, there is. So it's going yeah, it actually, from north to south? Yeah, kind of north, northwest to southeast, and then it flows uh, into the ditch that's kind of on the north side of Woodhaven Plat 3. Don't think we'll create any, any issues there. I think it's been a sensitive area, kind of, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it, what this will do is it will better define where the easement is because, yeah, th there's been some, you know, discussion about soils and that kind of thing. The new easement document, uh, you know, will clarify what the property owner's always been told, and that is that the maintenance of the embankments is the property owner's responsibility. Okay. Okay. Any other questions from the commission? If not, is there a motion? Uh, I'll go ahead and make a motion that we recommend to council approval of the plat of survey for the Bryant plat, uh, subject to uh, engineer and staff's comments dated April 14th, 2021, including the review comments and recommendations uh, which speak to lot tie agreements and uh, overland uh, drainage easements. Second. <clears throat> All in favor. You need to do a roll oh, call. Jenny, do you want to read the roll call? Rumble? <coughs> yes. Dietz? Yes. Hankins? Yes. Triplet? Yes. Sires? Yes. Bower Sox? Yes. To everyone. Okay. It has been passed. Thank, Thank you very you. much. <laughs> okay. Our next item on the agenda is the uh, um, site plan review for the North Polk Intermediate School. Kathleen, is there any explanation you want to give us on this? Uh, sure. Yeah, actually, Erin Olandike is here and let her kind of give her presentation. Uh, good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. yes? Okay, great. Erin um, Olandike with Civil Design Advantage. My address is 3405 Southeast Crossroads Drive, Suite G and Grimes. Um, here tonight on uh, with OPN Architects. Ken Hagen is also on the call. Um, to, to answer any questions that you might have about the architecture. Um, we are back before you tonight with a few um, amendments to the original site plan that was approved. Uh, really quick, I'll just do a quick rundown of, of, of the items that we have modified from the original site plan. Um, they have added a classroom addition in the Northwest corner to add two more classrooms. Um, the um, gymnasium on the lower level, they did a 20 foot increase in size to that. So it kind of shifted out to the east, um, which moved our drive over a little bit. Um, we specified improvements to the actual playground areas. So we've added a, like a multi-use basketball court, a gaga ball court, and some playground equipment um, kind of behind that um, upper level there. And then we added a couple more queuing spaces in the front area where the parent drop-off is and modified a few um, just sanitary services where they come into the building. And then lastly, we moved the bike rack from the front of the building down to the lower level of the building. Um, there have been no changes to the detention as that was sized for um, future additions to the site. Um, I've seen Kathleen's comments on her latest list, and I believe we've addressed all of her comments. So with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Okay. 
any questions or comments from the commission? Okay, if not, I guess we're ready for someone to make a motion, please. I'll go ahead and make a motion that we approve the site plan for North Polk Intermediate School with the uh, amendments as presented <clears throat> and the items one, two, and three under the recommendations. I'll second. Okay, Jenny, do you want to take roll call, please? Beats? Yes. Hankins? Yes. Triplet? Yes. Sires? Yes. Bower Socks? Yes. Vogel? Yes. Okay, it has passed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. The next item on the agenda is the um, recommend the council adapt the adopt the complete streets policy, which is an attachment in our package. Kathleen, or is there someone that want to speak to this? Uh, that would probably be Chelsea. Um, so as requested, the city staff has put together a proposed policy on complete streets. We did review a couple of other city policies um, and kind of put together what we felt would be a good policy for Polk City. Um, I'm happy to take any questions and, you know, this is kind of a working document. So I think that if we need to make some tweaks, we can certainly do that, but we wanted to have something in front of the commission for this evening. So um, I'm happy to take questions if you guys have any. There's no questions. Um, if the commission feels comfortable making a recommendation uh, to the council for approval, um, we are open to that this evening as well. So, okay, this is a policy, right? Yes. And I know that these complete streets were being talked about when I was the representative to the MPO and it I think it's a good thing that we need to start looking at um, if people, as uh, our communities grow, it's, it's, I think that this kind of thought process in building our streets and other avenues might make a more appealing community in terms of being able to get around and, and have a, instead of having, I guess, the more easily you can get around whatever mode of transportation you're using, I think it will help improve the attractiveness of our community to people. So, and make it a more pleasant place to live. So I, I'm glad we're starting to look at this and think about that. So I guess if nobody's gonna make a motion, <laughs> I will make a motion that we uh, um, recommend uh, approval of a complete streets policy. Is that? Is that good enough? <laughs> yeah. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Thank you, Justin. Uh, do we, we vote on this then? Yes. Okay, yeah. please um, do a roll call, Jenny. Vogel? Yes. Dietz? Yes. Hankins? Yes. Triplet? Yes. Sires? Yes. Bower Socks? Yes. It has carried. Thank you. Okay, um, 
I guess it's about that time for us to start talking about having in person for the mission. How does everyone feel about that? Well, I got my shots, so I feel more comfortable about being out and about. Um, and I was in the city hall this morning there, uh, the administration building, and it's set up pretty nicely. They've got the uh, uh, plexiglass panels between the seats, you know, on the, on the, on the uh, bench up there. And uh, so I think, I think that we can uh, certainly consider doing that. I would probably can still be wearing a mask and so on, but uh, I, th I think we need to be, be careful. I mean, as we get our shots, we can be more, you know, more socially active, but with all these new variants that keep coming up and everything, I think we still need to be aware of that and, you know, proceed accordingly. But I think as we get our shots and so on, I think we can start doing these things, particularly with the precautions that they've taken down there at the, at the city hall. So I'd be okay with it. Yeah, I agree with Dennis. I, I have had my shots too, about two months ago, my last one. So um, I feel very comfortable and, and I too think the city hall has taken a lot of precautions. So I would agree to meet in person. I think you get a lot more out of a meeting when you see face to face. I would agree as well, and I am okay with that. Just curious, Chelsea, what what kind of restrictions? I think council went back. Uh, what do you have in place for kind of revolving around those meetings? Um, so council is back in person. Um, we're going to try to let more people in, I think, as we navigate through the hybrid method. Um, I think we're still trying to work on, you know, the requirement of people wearing their masks in City Hall and social distancing. Um, we obviously don't have a lot of room in the council chamber, so we're going to space people out as the public is welcome back. But um, last meet last meeting on April 12th was the last council meeting and it was the first meeting back to in-person. We allowed the council back in person. We had a couple of staff people. So I think at the next meeting, we'll add some additional staff people and then um, we'll allow the public to come back in in a phased approach. So we're, we're trying to be fairly cautious and trying to be respectful of um, how you know the council and the various boards and commissions feel and we're trying to provide you all with a safe environment to um, conduct our meetings at. Along with the face-to-face, -face, would you also have the capacity to, for some people to Zoom? Yes, so or we'd like to continue to offer the hybrid and that is if somebody does not feel comfortable being in person. Um, so yes, we'd, we'd still offer the virtual option now if anybody would like to take that. Um, it sounds like you guys are all interested in going back to person. So we'll still offer virtual participation <coughs> for some of the um, staff people and other people that need to attend the meetings for um, the various reasons. Thank you. Just to clarify, um, so for those that um, may have a scheduling issue to for whatever reason, and this has been con convenient so that we can be at multiple different locations. Is it gonna be available for Zoom for those people that may not be in town, but are available to attend via Zoom? Yeah, for, okay. for the time being, yes. Okay. Okay, I guess we should probably vote on it. Is that what you'd like to do, Jenny? Or I don't think you need Chelsea? to vote on it. I think that if you guys just want to make mention that we'll be back in person and, and if someone doesn't want to be in person, we'll allow them the capability to still participate virtually. I think let's handle it that way. Otherwise, we'll plan for the May meeting um, to be back in person in some virtual. So um, you are all obviously welcome to be there. Jenny, what's the date for May? 17th. May 17th. How are you planning on handling the, um, like 
the developers and their engineers too. Would they be in the meeting as well? Yeah, I think if we have a lot of those, you know, like as we get into the nicer months of the year, I think we're going to have a lot of those people. We'll probably ask some of those people to participate virtually. <clears throat> Are we going to begin to get hard copy again then delivered to us? I'd really like to see the commission go electronically. Um, I know that it's nice for you guys to get the hard copies. It just costs us a lot of money to print off large packets. So my preference is for you guys to go electronic and I am all ears on talking about if we need to get you guys some sort of, you know, iPads or computers or whatever it is, but my preference is for electronic to continue. Uh, that's fine. It's it's real hard to read the drawings, the big drawings, when you print yes. out in F11. And I think that's something that you should consider, at least. Okay. And I don't know if, you know, I think one of these, this last one is like 54 pages or more. That's a lot. Sure. Yep. Yes, even if it's just, like you said, 8 by 11. Um, that would be better. So we can just, I, I, so I can eyeball it. I would like to do that too, where I okay. can see it better. And then even if we can run it off at home, uh, eight by 11 is a lot easier than um, some of the big ones that we've been getting. Well, okay, that's, let's that's not uh, what go I'm, ahead that's then. That's the opposite and, of what I'm saying. I'm saying that you, I okay. can't read these what drawings very well at eight and a half by 11. And oh. there's, there's detail okay. there that I, maybe it's who I am or whatever, but what I do, but um, uh, it, it's, it's difficult uh, to do. So, um, and I'm saying you ought to at least consider uh, when we have larger drawings that they at least come to us or, in a, in a file or something that's bigger that we can print out, but it's hard. Most people can't print out more than eight and a half by 11. So, and these drawings sometimes they're 24 by 36 originally when you get them. Um, we will talk about that, Doug. On, on okay, some of those, uh, um, Doug, I don't know. There like when there's several of those larger pages, so I find that, you know, I look at all of them and I, if I have them, but in re, it seems like if there's one or two that are more comprehensive than some of the others, uh, maybe just get copies of those. I don't know. I think there's some ways we can work through some of that. <clears throat> okay, Chelsea, so I think um, you got some of our comments so you can go from there and uh, we'll go ahead then for our May 17th meeting and, and it will be in person unless you do want to Zoom and there'll be that capability then too. Good. Okay. If there's no other comments, um, are there any reports or particulars from the liaison? Rob? Yeah, <clears throat> always try to bring something for you guys. So um, <laughs> I, uh, making me nervous laughing like that, Dennis. That's uh, <laughs> a little scary. <laughs> um, no, I, I think, uh, so and, and echo a lot of things that were said. So we did have our first in-person meeting and I really appreciated being back. Um, you know, I think we've been on the more conservative side in terms of in-person meetings and uh, it was especially useful um, for this last one. And I'll, I'll kind of talk about our facility needs assessment. That was one of the big things that's happened since our last meeting. But um, to, I think it was Krista's point, you know, just a, a lot more fruitful discussion and so I, I appreciate your guys' willingness to, um, to to come back to that and and do recognize that you know some of the things that um, were a little bit more flexible with 
Zoom meetings and th there's going to be uh, opportunities for for those when, when people are gone and those type of things. But uh, I was excited to get back for the first time, I think almost exactly a year, uh, year out from, from the last in-person meeting. So, um, and we did have a, so one of the main things, um, we did have a work session beforehand to, to go through uh, the facility needs assessment that we had approved uh, back at the end of, the end of last year. And, and they've been meeting with staff a lot and, and doing a lot of good work. So it was a, it was a good discussion, um, you know, 10, 20, 30 years out on, on what we think we would need. And um, it's kind of eye opening. Um, the price tags were, I'm not gonna lie, but should have expected that coming in. But um, I think it was a integral exercise to go through something that we've not done before. Um, and despite not having done, we're in, uh, I think a relatively good shape uh, especially from a land perspective um, where we have the opportunity I think for for the foreseeable future um, we have the land to do what we think we need it's going to be a, a determination of what and where um, so that was a really good exercise I'm, I'm sure I don't want to promise this Chelsea you verified that B&Z will be a, a recipient of the final output of this maybe as informational only or or will they not get a copy of that any different than the general public we'll send out an electronic copy but yeah they will get a copy electronically um we'd be happy to share that with them okay okay i didn't mean to put you on the spot but i didn't want to promise anything either um so other than that i uh, wanted to we uh, approved the uh, go poke city's recommendation for a mini four seasons festival um, at the last meeting too, just so you guys are aware, Saturday activities, not the full two days that we normally have, but um, something's better than nothing. And, and I think there was some, some good uh, balancing there of <clears throat> putting the, the, the sponsors and the businesses in a good position and, and then just being you know uh, a responsible party to, to those types of things. There's like with everything how there's there's options all over the board from cancel to full-blown you know regular and and so i think being in the middle there is good um and one thing on on tonight's meeting too i, I dennis you had brought up uh, when the mpo had done that complete streets and i can like, go back through my notes just um because I, I remember there's some pushback on the on the application of that when it went through a couple years ago from the mac discussion and it's one of those, you know, good in theory type initiatives, but I remember there being some qualms with some of the pieces there. So I'm gonna, you, you sparked my memory on, on that discussion and because uh, it has been a while, but I think a good direction to certainly consider. And then if it gives us some flexibility um, or some operating parameters too. Yeah, I think the thing um, that is to have it be flexible because some streets are just going to be thoroughfares and you got to realize that. And uh, others, I think you can do some things with to make it better. Yeah, I, I, I remember a fairly contentious Mac meeting on it and, and I don't remember why. So uh, I'm just curious uh, on that. Uh, but uh, I think that was all I had. Um, so we did uh, narrowly approve that. Uh, NAP rezoning um, last meeting too. Um, also approved the Ledstone uh, since we met that, uh, after your special meeting. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else in the last couple of meetings, but I think those are the large ticket items, if you will. That's all I had. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Rob. Is there anything from the staff? or city manager. I don't have anything tonight, thank you. Okay. Okay, uh, anyone else have any comments or anything to say before we adjourn the meeting? Okay, can I have a motion to adjourn, please? So moved. I'll second. I was expecting Deanna to do that, but. <laughs> Turn mute buttons. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Opposed? Okay, so moved. Thank you. Take care. Thank stay, you, everyone. Stay safe, all. Take care. Bye-bye. Yes. Oh, have, yeah, have a good trip, Dennis. Good, Thank safe you. trip. Yeah. Bye-bye.